Okay, today we're going to be looking at the trends in the first ionization energy going across the period of the periodic table. So the first element we've got has atomic number one and has a relatively high first ionization energy because it has no shielding and the electron is very close to the nucleus. This means a lot of energy is required to remove the first electron. The second uh, element in the periodic table with atomic number two is a lot higher than hydrogen because it has an extra proton in its nucleus, which gives it an increased nuclear charge. This increased nuclear charge holds the electron on a lot more strongly, requiring uh, more energy to remove an outer electron. The third element, with atomic number three, has a significantly lower first ionization value. And this is due to the fact, for the first time, we're putting electrons into this 2s uh, orbital here. We've had two electrons placed in here and we're now putting one electron into the 2s orbital. This means that we get shielding from these two electrons and this electron here is further away from the nucleus. Our next element with atomic number four has an increase in first ionization energy due to the fact that it's got an increased nuclear charge. We've added more pro another proton and another electron to this element which means that the nucleus is more positive and holding onto the electrons more tightly. Our fifth element, atomic number five, actually decreases in energy. This is due to the fact that the electron is now going in to a 2p orbital. So what we have here is we have our fifth electron going for the first time into a 2p orbital, which is higher in energy and therefore further away from the nucleus, making it easier to remove. We also now get shielding from these two electrons. So there are two reasons that this, for this decrease in ionization energy. For the first time, we have electron in the 2p, which is shielded by 2s and, remove, and further away from the nucleus. Our next uh, element has atomic number 6, and again, similar to atomic number 4 here, increases in ionization energy due to increased nuclear charge. Increased nuclear charge caused by an extra proton in the nucleus, holding, causing the electrons to be held more tightly and more energy needing to remove them. Atomic number, uh, element, atomic number seven has a similar uh, increase in ionization energy, again due to increased nuclear charge. When we get to atomic number eight, we're looking at group six, we actually get a slight decrease in the first ionization energy. And this is due to the fact that for the first time, we've had to pair an electron here. Okay? Putting electrons individually is referred to as Hund's rule, and we put electrons in the 2p orbitals individually for as long as we can before having to pair an electron. These two electrons interact with mutual repulsion, repelling each other as they're both negative. This means that less energy is required to remove this outer electron which is seen in this trend here with a lower value for ionization energy. Uh, atomic element number nine increases from atomic element number, uh, atomic number eight, again due to increased nuclear charge. More protons in the nucleus means a stronger attraction to the, uh, for the electrons, meaning more energy needs to be removed. Our last one, atomic number 10, again has a high first ionization energy due to increased nuclear charge. We're putting more protons in, which means more energy needs to be used to remove the first electron. When we get back down to group one, we're now at atomic number 11, we get a much lower significant increase, similar to the one we had over here, due to the fact that we've now got shielding from all of these electrons. We've added our 3s electron for the first time, which is now shielded by all of these electrons and is much further from the nucleus. This means less energy is required to remove this electron than there was for any of the others. When we have a look at the next and our final element, atomic number 12, there is again an increase here, similar to there was here, due to the fact that we've got an increased nuclear charge. More protons equals stronger attraction and more energy needs to be used.